Okay. Well, the, the situation with teacher evaluations was uh, um, was a fairly controversial one this year. It's probably uh, five or six months ago, we were presented with a um, a proposal that would decrease the number of ETSs and ETSs in elementary teaching specialist. They're attached to the elementary schools. They basically are there to help coach and teach teachers and help teachers develop lessons plans uh, to work with the kids and. Um, the plan that was proposed would be to reduce the number of ETS positions and at the same time increase the number of administrators. Um, the ETSs that would be reduced wouldn't be uh, wouldn't leave the district, but they would transition into different positions. Um, in fact, some of them to become administrators. Um, the reason that uh, it was determined that increased administrators or more administrators are required is because there are new requirements in New Jersey for evaluation of teachers. And what's happened over the last few years in most districts, or pretty much every district, is principals and supervisors whose job it is to um, not just be a principal of a building or supervise teachers have been spending an inordinate amount of time evaluating teachers. Um, and that does two things. One, most importantly from school district's point of view, it takes that professional away from what they uh, really are intended to do. Uh, in, the, in the case of a principal, you want a principal to be in a building, you want him or her to be walking around, to be visible, to be among students, to be meeting parents, uh, and if they're now forced to spend twice as much time as previously required or more evaluating, evaluating teachers, they really don't have an opportunity to do what they're supposed to do. Uh, the same principle with supervisors. So this all came about, by the way, because of state changes, uh, and one, one problem or one issue making it more um, uh, acute at present is that there's um, new laws that seem to require teacher evaluations and student achievement to be tied to each other, which is making the uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the whole process of evaluations that much more meaningful and that much more full of anxiety. Um, so again, getting back to the proposal, the proposal that was uh, made was to reduce the number of ETSs and hire more administrators. Um, there seemed to be a pull between uh, uh, two groups on the board. Uh, one of whom were uh, in support of the plan and, and one of whom uh, were not um, based on the reduction of ETSs. Um, I actually was, uh, I guess, a member of neither of those groups. Uh, it was my, f my feeling uh, that the best way to deal with the situation would be rather than hire uh, as many new administrators that they did is to take an opportunity to bring in um, uh, people on an annual contract, retired uh, principals, retired supervisors, to come in and do evaluations for a year's time because it gives the, the district an opportunity to find out exactly how well it's going to acclimate to this new system. Um, instead of hiring a bunch of new administrators or several new administration, administrators um, or not, it, it, gives, uh, it gives you the opportunity to dip your toe in the water before dipping your whole leg in the water. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, I was the only board member um, who had that opinion. Um, so it came down to, uh, um, uh, at the end of the day, there was a compromise reached where we hired more administrators and we reduced some of the ETS positions. Um, and the, the plan as, as originally presented wasn't, um, wasn't put into place, nor was um, uh, the, the keeping of all the ETS positions. As far as a process goes, um, in some ways it's a good process because uh, boards of education um, are meant to ask questions and are meant to have opinions and although it was an uncomfortable process um, for, for most of us on the board at the end of the day um, this is how it's supposed to work we're supposed to ask questions we're supposed to make decisions to the best of our ability and if an issue comes down where there's a difference of opinion um, you work your way through it and come up with some kind of solution so um, nobody likes to be in, uh, in those kind of situations but um, uh, if we could rewind the tape a little, I would still recommend hiring uh, temporary people to, to fill the um, evaluation gap um, and maintain the, the structure of the ETS system more so uh, than we did.